Alex Gable writes, Since Game of Thrones will eventually come to an end, a lot has been said about ending the series with one or more feature-length films. Do you like this idea? And if this were to be the case, how well do you think it will perform at the box office, given its worldwide success on the small screen? It's really tough to say, because sometimes... Oftentimes, you'll bring a very popular TV property to the big screen, and it does not perform all that well. Entourage is a great example. Entourage had a lot of viewers and a lot of followers, did not translate into box office success. Um, most, most of them don't. Here's the thing, though. I've always thought that a Game of Thrones one could be interesting. First of all, the challenge is this. Is at the rate Game of Thrones kills off key characters, I don't know what characters you're still going to have around <laughs> right. to make a feature film based on that's going to attract in the, the standard viewers. But I've always kind of felt, even though I'm the anti prequel guy, I'm the type of guy that I've always said that they've talked a lot about, you know, a thousand years ago when the kings had dragons and all that kind of stuff. I've always thought you could tell really interesting backstories in a feature length film. I always thought that would be a good medium for it. It would be a feature film. How well would it do? Hard to say. Um, they did a little experiment where they did, uh, like they showed the last two episodes of a previous season on IMAX. And I think it did reasonably okay, but it's not like they were packing out the houses or anything like that. So it's tough to say. I think if you did a Game of Thrones movie for $100 million, I think if you did a Game of Thrones movie for $100 million, I think you could be it would be reasonable for you to expect that you would make enough money to break even and make a little profit. Once you get in that $150, $200, $225 million range, that, now you're talking about a movie that needs to make $500 million worldwide, and I'm right. not sure it would do that. Mark, or Christian? Ah, 0 for 2. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> yes? <laughs> All right, so what, do you see what I think with Game of Thrones here, I'm going into my WC Fields. Hey, kids, what's going on? You eating your carrots? Hey. So uh, you eating your carrots? what is this whole Game of Thrones thing anyway? I'm from the 20s. I think uh, Game of Thrones as a movie, I went and saw that double feature, and I, I swear to God, I enjoyed it so much. I was like, I think this is better than any movie that's playing in the theater at the time. When I went and saw that double header of the two ep last episodes of Game of Thrones. To be fair, you saw it when Jupiter Ascending. Hey, and, look, uh, you know, I'm, just, I'm not saying what else was playing. <laughs> I'm just saying that this was better. Um, so <laughs> I think uh, for me, I would love to see them do it again with this sixth season. I would love to, hey, take those last two episodes, throw them in the theater. You got me. I'm paying for it. I don't have that AMC card anymore, yo. I'm paying for that. <laughs> Double bill. What's happening? I want them to do it differently, though. I don't want them to show me the last two episodes from last season. I What I want them to do is I want them to release the first episode of the new season one week early in theaters only. I'm 100% of that. pack that house. Yeah, just ma pack it. make it a 90-minute special. Or they could do the last episode one week early and just make it a 90 90 minute freak fest people freak out that they've already got it in the can they're just counting money they're printing money right now people would HBO, we're just giving you money in the street yeah. if you didn't get a chance to see it opening weekend because you know that whatever whoever dies whatever plot twist is going to be all over twitter right. and people are going right. to hate that's why you got to do right. with the first episode of the season and not the last episode of the season it, it, it makes not, sense. not as spoiler heavy and i think it would crush and i think that a game of thrones movie would crush yeah. i think you can do tons of these i think what you can do is you can end the tv run and then do game of thrones anthology films where it's not necessarily we have to stick to one time period we can go back a thousand years and do a movie we can go back we, we can go five years in the future from the end of the tv show and do a movie i think there's a big enough fan base with game of thrones they've seen what they can do with the production values on hbo mm. imagine what it'll look like on the big screen the big challenge you have is can you tell a story that for the fans feels expansive and rich and in-depth enough in a time frame that's only two maybe two and a half hours i think you can pull it off and i want to see him try because game of thrones is something that it's such a great vast universe you don't want it to end in two more seasons what about if they did a movie in between seasons six and seven where they're like look we're gonna we're gonna incorporate some of these storylines from you know from you know offshoot where it doesn't like you could watch season six and seven and not see this movie and you would miss out on a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's a, it's precarious, but you could do it. You just have to be very, very careful that it doesn't become, hey, if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, for you to understand what's going to happen in season eight, you got to watch this movie first because then you're going to alienate people. But if you can right. do what you were explaining, which is find a way that integrates it into the Game of Thrones world and put in that timeline, 
But if you don't go out to see the movie, you're fine just watching the TV show. I, I, that could be it. Yeah, but also, they, either way, just don't waste your time. Don't twiddle your thumbs yeah. like what you did with Entourage right. or what like the X Files yeah. came yeah. back last night. And I and I liked watching the X Files on TV. The first X Files movie did very very well because it was building fresh off the momentum yeah. of the TV show. Then they made the next X Files movies like ten years later, and nobody wanted to see it because right. like oh they're they're still. Alive? Really? Why are they hunting the werewolves? I thought they were dealing with aliens. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. make Game of Thrones soon. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.